Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today I am going to be doing my de-stash. We all know that back in January, if you were watching my videos, I mentioned that I'm going to have a de-stash before I officially move. And so this is the de-stash. I'm accepting PayPal, Apple Pay, and that's pretty much it unless... I don't really have a Venmo, so um, those are the two, unless you have an alternative way suggestion, but those are the two main ones. Um, and just know that if you are in the United States, uh, tack on $10 for shipping. If you are in Canada, tack on about $35 in shipping. And anywhere else, I would tack on about $60 for shipping, just because shipping is so expensive. So um, I will give you a good price if you are going to buy a bundle of things together. <clears throat> so to start off, I have mainly planners, uh, planner covers and journal covers. I have a couple of rings and these are all A6 accessories that go on rings. So this for instance is a um, bookmark which sticks out above the ring and then I even have old foxy fix um, like hard dashboards I have some of these pretty colorful dashboards some foxy fix dashboards and um, some more foxy fix dashboards and then just some other colorful dashboards if you want to use them but this is one complete bundle so I'm not trying to separate them um, just one bundle all together I'm not going to split it up and I will try to put prices inside of the description if you um, are interested I'm going to put my email address for you to reach out to me and my social media. Um, you can even comment in the description here that you're interested, uh, but I still need to somehow contact you. So I don't know if you feel comfortable sending me your information, but maybe reach out to me through DM on Instagram, which is my preferred um, social media, um, or on my email. So that's A6. This is A5. So we have a notebook from and that's just a mark but it's a notebook from cloth and paper from a few years back and there's still a lot of pages left um, but none of the pages are actually marked up inside or anything so that with ring binder inserts from foxy fix and these are the top loading ones and there's about one, two, three, four, five of those. I have extra paper, and these were part of a bundle from Foxy Fix. And so these are also included. Some of the hard boards, there's four of them here. So they're really durable. And then these are like the binder inserts. So if you have a binder and you want to add a notebook instead of um, the using the ring, then um, you could add a notebook in here and you slip this into the pocket. So there's one, two, three, four, five of those. So this is all one bundle if you're interested in this. And this notebook comes with this bundle. So this is a five bundle. And then we get into the notebooks. So I have two types of covers for a Hobonichi. I have this one from Sojourner. And then I also have um, one of these plastic covers for Hobonichi. And although the plastic cover does not fit into this leather cover, um, it can be used in case you want to just switch it out or let's say you want to put this in another cover, um, you can use it that way. So this is the one I think from two years ago, Hobonichi cover. I ended up buying two of them. I don't know why. 
and I only use one of them. So this is the one I didn't use. And then I rarely even use this one. I think I used it maybe once. And this is the uniqueness of the leather itself. It's um, came like this. There is nothing wrong with the leather and the crackling is actually pretty cool. You, it has a little bit of texture, like you can almost feel it, but it's not like crackled and um, torn or anything. So it's like a, a slight brown red with some white and it's very flexible. So it's not too sturdy, but it's a really nice soft and I can definitely speak for Sojourner. Their, her products last for a very, very long time. I have some A6 covers. So I have a Sojourner A6 undyed folio cover. And this is a trifolio cover. And it's in the undyed leather. It has a pocket. You could put some cards in here. And if you know anything about Sojourner, they are still um, a really good brand. And she still sells products uh, today. So this is the folio. And she's known for having lightweight materials. So the, the leather is not super thick. And it makes carrying your notebooks around very um make sure notebooks very portable because it doesn't have that additional weight and then i have a chic sparrow this was the oh, i can't remember the leather this was the first time that this leather had come out and it's like a like a caramel brown it's showing a little bit dark in the camera and this is just a folio a6 and the inside nap is smooth. Um, it's flexible. It's not like super hard and sturdy, uh, but I hardly use this one either. And um, I think it does, it scratches up just a little bit, uh, not too much. I think you can, can you rub it out? Maybe not, but it's all part of the leather character. Now I have B6 Slim and B6. I have a Sojourner in the Caribou, which is her dark color leather. And this is really nice because it has really great pull up where if you were to squeeze it, you can kind of see the change in the color. So this is a B6 Slim uh, Traveler's Notebook. Uh, I have a B6 Slim uh, folio from Sojourner, and it has the pink with the yellow pocket. And I did get some transfer from another cover. It was like blue transfer, but it doesn't affect the product itself or what you need to use it for. And plus it's on the back. Um, so yeah, and this leather is actually really really soft on this side it's quite thin again it's a sojourner um, notebook cover and then you have the inserts here for cards so b6 slim then i have for a uh, three two b6 traveler's notebooks this one is from leather quill and it's a very uh thin and like flexible leather and it's black and white and from what I told that this can go inside out so if you want the black to show all you have to do is change the strings and put them on this side and then you can switch this out to the other side and have it that way so um, this is how I bought it where it was already on the turquoise side, but yeah, so that's a B6. This is also a B6 cover from MLG and co. And I do believe that they are still in business as well. She, um, yeah, I have a card. Uh, her name's Anna. And so she made this one for me a while back. I never really used it that much because I was, I started really enjoying the A5 size. Um, but these inserts are Muji that I bought for this notebook and they haven't been used. And so this comes all in as one. So this is what it looks like. You can still add 
there's four strings so you can still add another notebook um, this is a nice light brown I do not know the name of this cover color but it's hardly been used then I have two folios that are in the B6 size. I have a Moterm in the pink B6, and it does have the big back pocket. And then you do get the, um, the bookmarks. It has a pen loop and it's a snap closure. Hardly use, I think I used it maybe for a week. And then I have the um, Naya Papery cover. And this one has that leather that is like the Nubuck leather where it almost feels like suede. If you rub your hands get it against it one way and then you rub it against it the other way, it kind of, see, you see the shift in the leather. So this is a B6 insert or like a folio. So you just slide your notebook inside here and then you have multiple pockets. So this is a really light cover. I've used it briefly last year, not very often. So it doesn't have much of a patina right now and there's like no markings on it. So it's a really interesting leather. All right, so I also have the MLG & Co. This is the personal planner and it's a ring bound system. And um, this leather is meant to scratch up really easily. I decided to put in a sleeve from Gilio, and this is like their black matte sleeve and um, or whatever you call it. I can't think of the name right now, but I decided to put that in here. It's going to come with this binder system. I have extra like pockets. I have one of those color, um, colorful, like glittery pockets, Filofax inserts, and some more of their, their plastic insert pockets. So when I put these in the description, I'm going to number them by the by the way that I've been mentioning them. And then I will put like some descriptors just because I don't know the names, but I'll try to make sure I put the brand and the color and the, the size so that you have a better idea of which one you you're asking for rather than asking for time stamps. So I do have a personal size traveler's notebook. Personal size was really popular probably like seven years ago. Um, so I got this custom made and she has blue Italian leather, which is really thin and it smells good. I just have some charms on it, but um, this has a book bound like binder or spine. And then it has the Jane Eyre chapter one and um, like page four on the back. So it's pretty cool if you're into that author. But I really liked her style back in the day. Um, although I just don't use this size. I also have this little miniature traveler's notebook, which would be, I think it's called the mini or something. Um, and this one is by Pocket Lily Covers. And so it's super tiny. Like here is the uh, personal size and then here's this mini. So this one's also, also for grabs. Okay, so on to a couple of other zip covers. So I have the Galen leather zip cover. And this is the one that I had a boo-boo and I put a sticker on it. Um, and so you could still see the impression of the sticker. Um, if you know how to clean that off or if you intended to put other type of things on your notebooks, then this would be probably the perfect one for you because you can easily cover this up. So this is the zipper cover from Galen Leather in the uh, Crazy Horse Green. And you can see all that lovely character. It's really pretty actually. Um, 
So this can be used for a Hobonichi Weeks, which is how I was using it. And then I put all my cards on the left side um, and it closes really easily. The zippers are great with Galen leather. And um, it gets its character and it's just, I think it was a really great size for me at the time when I was really into um, the wallet and the Hobonichi Weeks a few years back. So then you do get the pocket or the uh, pen loop, which can also fit there and it's right on the spine. So it shouldn't hit anything. And then you have all these pockets, secretarial, the back pocket, which is where I put my Hobonichi Weeks cover in and yeah so you can't really put your Hobonichi weeks on both sides like some can with uh, like the Hobonichi cover from Sojourner that I showed earlier but this one is more for if you have other things you want to put in there it can hold more so I will definitely um, be sending this in the box so you get the full experience Next is a Lorton and Horn cover, and I find myself not using it. I mean, I used it when I traveled a couple times, but then I felt like it just wasn't enough room for everything I wanted, so I had to take more things. Um, but if you are a little bit more simple than me, this could be the perfect uh, travel notebook for you. So it's roughly the size of a... Hobonichi Weeks and I did use it for my Hobonichi Weeks. I did put it here and it does like lie flat when you have something here on it. Um, and then it has these clips so you can clip like wires, I mean your uh, charging cables and it has a zipper that works just fine with, the, with um, a place to put any anything special maybe some cash I have one of those fortune teller fishes um, another one on this side a place to put it's like a gusseted secretarial and then you have some slots here so this is made of uh, real leather and it's very very soft 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 like squishy really soft leather and the zipper is thick it's a YKK and um, it has a nice leather zip pull. So it has this pocket in the front and then nothing on the back. But I really like this when I was using it, but I think it's about time for me to let it go. And I'm also going to be putting these two together. So these come together as a set if you're interested. Um, I did mark up one page like a quarter of a page at the top here and one little square here but other than that it's blank and then I, there's a sticker in the back you can cover that up but yeah it's blank it has two um, bookmarks and this is the print pression so let me show you how it could fit just like that and voila. Okay, so on to the bigger sizes. I have a traveler's notebook in standard size. This was from Speckled Fawn. It's one of their basic traveler's notebooks. And because I haven't used it very much, it's still pretty stiff. But I've seen others who've had their Speckled Fawns and using them all the time and it just becomes so flexible and soft and pliable so um, but this one hasn't really been used so there's four strings here and um, they're all brown strings and yeah so that one's for sale and then I have my A5 covers so I have this one from Sojourner and this is one of her newer leathers uh, towards the middle of end of last year and it's 
uh, one of the few times that she has pink. So it is a pink cover. Um, it's like pink with a little bit of lighter pink and darker pink. It's very soft and smooth. This cover is very flexible. And it looks like it's like glassy because it's kind of like shiny, oddly, but it's really, it's a really interesting feel. Um, it's not overly smooth. You feel like a little bit of texture, just subtle. And this is literally supposed to just be very lightweight, as you could tell how thin it is. But again, her materials um, and her, like the stitching and everything, it's always top notch and never let me down. It's just, I just don't use it. So there's the first A5. Second A5 is this one. I got this off of Etsy. I know I've mentioned this a couple times and there could have been others who may have told me who the seller was. Um, but anyway, I cannot remember the seller. So this is a cover that has the snap closure, but I will say that if you have a chunky monkey, this snap closure, it won't snap. It's only for those who are pretty straightforward with their A5 notebooks and don't have, uh, don't, you know, overstuff it. So this is a great option. Plus you have a place here where you could put a pencil. So if you like to draw and you want a book or a cover to draw with to hold your pencil, you could put that in there. Okay, so next is another cover that I got. Uh, I think I got this one off of Etsy. And it's very unique. This one says, it's hard to read their print, their stamp, because it wasn't very well, um, didn't have a really good impression. Something South. And... All these markings were pretty much what came with this cover. And it's really soft on the inside. It has longer, deeper pockets. So you might not be able to use them to hold much because they're so far, they're gonna be really close to the notebook. But this is an A5 cover. Then I have a Moterm A5 cover. This is the Crocodile and it has your bookmarks it has all the pens or all your slots here for stickers or your credit cards it has a pocket on this side you got a pocket also on this side and then the the space to put your notebook you also have a secretarial and a pen loop and then you get the big back pocket I have a Shibui A5 notebook cover. This is more like a reddish brown to me. It's really pretty. It has some interesting marks here from the leather itself and it's soft. It does have like some of those stretch marks as well. So a lot of character on the outside and then the layout, um, you have card slots here, you have an open card slot there, and then a secretarial. It is lined, all the card slots are lined, and then a long pocket slot here. And then you just slip in your A5 notebook. All right, so last but not least is this A5 um, from Hobonichi from a few years ago. I think it's like called Cat something. And I did include all of like the paperwork that come with their covers. It has two pen loops where you can use to close the notebook if you're not familiar with Hobonichi. I'm not sure how many people actually do this, but you can put one pen in the loop and then the other half of the pen in the loop and keep it closed that way. 
It has a stain on the back from a fountain pen. And of course it has to be black on this linen cover. I mean, I haven't attempted to get it out, so it could still come out with a stain remover if you have one. It has a back pocket here. And then the inside is orange, which is a really nice um, contrast to the linen color. And then you have all your card slots. You have a pocket, yeah, you have a pocket on this side and your secretarial. Okay, two more to go. I have a file of facts. I will ship it out in the box. And I did use this one um, pretty heavily, but it is still in good condition. Made of real leather and it is the pocket. Okay, it has I just put one of these card slots in here, but it has a lot of pockets in here. So I was using this as a wallet. You can slip things in here. You can even get a slip wallet that comes out. Um, you can get those custom made at like Vanderspeck. Then card slots, you have an additional pocket here, a big back pocket and a pocket on this side and even a pocket on this side with a hidden zipper. So there's a lot going on with this little notebook cover and I found it very useful for when I was using it as a wallet. All right, so last but not least is my Vanderspeck. This was a custom made binder and I used it briefly um, a while back and then I was on that hype train of getting other covers. So then this one kind of just got set back. So this one hasn't really been used. It's in really great condition. And it is an A6 binder. It has blue on the inside. This is the Kukuyo brown. And then this one is just, I think, Napa blue um, with the brown stitching. And I still have like some of my artwork in here and some tabs that I will uh, keep in here as well when I ship it out. So it doesn't have a big back pocket. Oh, it does have a big back pocket, I forgot. So this one, I did get it with a custom big back pocket and that can always be useful for uh, larger pieces of paper. You get a pocket here, a pocket here, the pen loop, um, a pocket, pocket, and then all your card slots. Kraus rings, I think these are 20 millimeter or it could be 25. It was the standard at the time a couple years ago for Vanderspeck. So I didn't get anything too huge. Okay, so this one is actually really, really soft on the outside. Um, I feel like it does handle wear really well and it will also come in its box. So that's all I have for you today. Please check it out if you're interested. Share with others if you know that they're interested. And um, again, you can message me, DM me um, on my Instagram um, or email me. And make sure when you do email me, to write journal inquiry. So, or not just hello, um, because you know, those can, I, my eyes don't really go towards those emails. So I really look at the subject to see what the email is for. Um, so make sure to put something related to what you're looking at um, in this video. All right, so if you have any questions, please post them in the description box. Prices will be shared um, on like when you reach out to me and uh, then we'll just go from there. All right. Thank you for joining. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.